Hi everyone, we're here to go over how we can use our place value disks and our place value chart to help us divide four digit dividends by one digit divisors. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's think about the problem 2,487 and we're going to divide that into four groups. All right, so let's start by setting up our place value chart. I have a four digit total, so I need to represent it on a four column chart showing my thousands, my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. I go ahead and represent my total of 2,487. 2,000, four hundreds, eight tens, and seven ones. And I'm going to go ahead and also show the four groups that I am trying to divvy it up in. All right, so we can represent this with a um, tape diagram as well to help us represent that relationship between our total and our parts. So you remember, this is my total in my division. I start with my total, 2,487, and I'm separating that total into equal parts. And this uh, in this case, we are separating into four equal parts. So I need to make sure I have the same value in each of these to create that 2,487. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Right away, I notice I have two thousands right here, but I have four groups. I can't put those two thousands in any of those groups because I need all of my groups to be equal. So let's go ahead and decompose those two thousands. I'm going to decompose these two thousands into 20 Hundreds. I'm going to go ahead and represent it with fives just so that I don't have to draw out 20 discs. So there's five hundreds, ten hundreds, which is the same as one thousand, fifteen hundreds, one thousand five hundred, twenty hundreds, or two thousand. Now remember, friends, we're not changing our overall value of 2,487. This right here is still 2,487 because I have my twenty hundreds, which is the same as 2,000. 487. So we're just changing our representation, but not our value. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start divvying it up, making sure that I create equal groups. I notice I have four groups of five and I have four groups. So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting a five on each. There's one group of five, two groups of five, three groups of five, and five groups of five. Looking again at my hundreds, I do have four more hundreds, so that means I have enough to put one on each. So there's one crossing through as I go to keep myself straight, two, three, and four. And it makes sense that I have six hundreds on each of my four slots, because six times four gives me 24, and that's how many hundreds I had. All right, moving to my tens, I see that I have eight tens. I know that eight divided into four groups would give me two. So let's go ahead and check and make sure there's two for that one, two for that one, two for that one, and two for that one. Okay, again, I'm not having a remainder, so I can just keep on going. Look at my ones. I notice I can put one here, one here, one here, one here, and I have three left. Now, at this point in our fourth grade mathematical career, we're going to call that our remainder because we're not going to decompose into anything smaller than our ones place. So when I'm writing my quotient, remember how much is in each of these boxes, how much is in one of my groups, I have six hundreds, two tens, and one one in each of my groups, and then I have a remainder of three because I had three ones left over that I was not able to share evenly. Now looking at our uh, chart, we could put this. Here's our 621, our 621, our 621, and our 621 with our remainder of three out to the side. Now again, I remember that division and multiplication are inverse operations, so I can use multiplication to help check my division. So if I have 621 and I multiply it by four, I'm just going the inverse of my uh, tape diagrams, and I have four groups of 621 that I'm going to combine. One one times four is four ones. Two tens times four is eight tens. Six hundreds times four is 2,400 or 2,400. 
So now I have 2,484. I'm not at this total yet because I need to add that three. That was my remainder. When I then do my 2,484 plus my three, I do get back to that overall total that I'm working with of 2,487. All right, so friends, that was a quick review of how to do our four digit by one digit division. I hope that this helps you complete your digital learning choice board. And as always, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks so much.